This is really a hard time for astrophotography. It is raining, cloudy, overcast, whatnot. Totally bad time. But I thought uh, to upgrade my tracker a little bit more with robot operating system and few electronics. So this video is all about the EQ tracker. As we know, Earth has two hemispheres. Uh, let's take a point in the northern hemisphere. On the same latitude, everywhere the sky views are same. Luckily, for northern hemisphere, we have the Polaris, which doesn't change its location at the night sky. And all the stars and the constellations rotate around it. Now consider you want to take a picture of a deep sky object for 3 hours of imaging. There will be two rotations which you need to tackle here right ascension and the declination. So mainly in the telescope you need two motorized tracking system. With only RS system we can still take a good images but for that we need to have a better stacking strategy. So for brighter DSO objects we have to shorter exposures and for the dimmer objects we need to have a longer exposure. Now for shorter exposure that means you have to take a lot of images quickly and then you have to stack them together. And for longer exposure but in narrow arc area, you need to have a base tracking system which can take precisely a particular location in the night sky. Since the last episode, I made some design changes. Uh, here, this is the RA axis and at the bottom of it, uh, if you see this blue color uh, base is a base which has two end switch holder and also I have a stopper basically this stopper uh, will rotate along with the RA axis and eventually it will hit either of the end switch and whenever it will hit the end switch it will give a signal uh, to a mini D1 and for the mini D1 Adreno, I have this uh, case holder. Okay, so all the parts I have now printed and uh, apart from that, I have added few uh, other uh, stuff as well, which is not part of the design initially. Uh, so this is the gear basically, uh, which is going to rotate along with the RA axis basically. And uh, I have another gear which is connected to a rotary encoder and that rotary encoder connected with a uh, mini D1 Adreno which is communicating with the ROS Pi, uh, I mean ROS, uh, you know, application which is there in the Raspberry Pi with the TCP uh, protocol. And then uh, these are the end switch basically which is going to give you the stop instruction at the end of your full rotation in uh, either of this side. Okay, here is the ROS part. So here I installed the ROS code in the Raspberry Pi and apart from the ROS code we have various other nodes. So this IR module which is node 1, then we have the display module is node 2 and then uh, there is the Adreno node 3 which is collecting the information from the notary encoder and the end switch and node 4 is your um, stepper motor and all these nodes are communicating to each other uh, to rotate the uh, RA axis in the proper direction and the speed. Okay, now I have uh, added all the components together and uh, this thing is rotating with a very slow speed and um, as you can see uh, this angle is right now showing is minus one because this is not calibrated yet but uh, with respect to a small deviation this value will change. Now you see this value is now from minus one to minus two. That means uh, this rotation is going on in clockwise direction. So let's see how this thing can take a beautiful image of a night sky.